Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to upload your images from your cell phone. Yesterday we talked about it in our um, on the video that I uploaded on your directions for your assignment. You do have two options for your assignment as I mentioned yesterday. Option one is to take a picture of a, a color wheel that you recreated from your office in your house. And the second one is to actually sketch it out, draw it on your own paper and color it and then take a picture. Either option that you choose is fine, uh, but you have to take a picture of both of them and upload both of them. So before we start doing that, I'm going to have um, a little tutorial on how to get uh, the pictures out of your phone once you capture them. First thing you have to do is unlock your phone before you plug it in using your charger. Once you plug your phone in, it's going to give you a message that says allow or not allow, always hit allow. You're gonna have all your picture, I'm um, sorry, all your list of things on your computer. You're gonna find your phone once it's plugged in and you are going to open up your internal storage. Once you hit your internal storage, you're gonna get a bunch of folders. Some of you have more than others. I cleaned up mine. Mine just has the one folder that we need, which is called the DCIM folder. The DCIM folder holds all your images, your videos and all of that. When you open it up, you're going to have a bunch of folders. They go from the uh, oldest photos that you have on your phone to the most recent photos that you have on your phone, which are uh, the last folder. When you open up your folder, you have two options. Sometimes it opens up and it just looks like a bunch of uh, numbers and stuff. So this is the type of file it is. If it's a video that you've taken, uh, it's going to be an MP4 or another type of format. If it's an image, it'll be a JPEG. So we're going to be looking for your images. And of course, it's always um, listed through the date. So if you know a specific date that you took your picture, like today's date, and you took it today, then you'll go there. But the easiest thing is for you to click this little icon and it lists them in pictures. That way you can see it. And you're going to scroll all the way down. And this is the picture that I want right here. So you are going to get the picture and you're going to right click, click the control button to get both of them and you're going to hit copy. Once you do that, you're going to go right here. And if you want to do it on your downloads, you can get, make a folder on your downloads like I did called Color Wheel. This is how you would make a new folder, new folder, and then you would name it. I already named it mine Color Wheel, so I don't need a new folder, but um, this is what it will look like. If you prefer to make one on your drive, when you're here on your drive, if you wanna make a new folder, just have all of them here with you, that way you can take them wherever you go. Same step, new folder. And if you wanna name it uh, project pictures, that way all your project pictures are together. Or if you wanna name it cell phone pictures, whatever you wanna do. Same thing, so your picture folder, I have a bunch of these folders. Your folders are gonna be listed alphabetically. Um, so it'll be where you put them right here. So let's go back to your uh, list right here. So we already got our iPhone, we already got our internal storage and we went through our DCIM folder. We got our pictures all in order now you're going to go to your downloads which is where i put my folder you, you all had already done copy paste i mean sorry right click copy when you come over here you're going to do paste and i had already previously saved them so they're right here if you say you know what i don't want this picture anymore i got the wrong one or it looks too blurry or i'm going to do it again whatever you can always delete it but they're right here these are the pictures that i took um and that was just for practice right here so you have um, your pictures that you need that you want to upload right here. So once you have them uploaded, you're gonna go back to your um, classwork. And remember, this is a slideshow that I uploaded yesterday, discussed all the directions and your two options, uh, background about the color wheel, all of that. That's just for you to view. This is where you're actually going to have your um, picture imported and submitted. So when you open it up, it's gonna be, um, it says upload image here, it's gonna be blank. All you're going to do is upload your picture now that you have them saved. I'm gonna open up a, just a random one because I don't wanna mess up your um, assignment. So I'm just gonna pretend this is yours. When you're here, you're going to go to insert. 
So if you have them um, on your image, if you have them on your computer, like I did on my downloads, you're gonna go right here and you're gonna find the folder, which is your download folder. And on your download folder, you remember we named it color wheel. So when you open it up, these are your pictures. Let's say you wanna do um, this one. This is the one that you took. It goes right here. So remember, as some of you were having trouble moving pictures, when I'm trying to move it, it doesn't move. So remember, this is a really important symbol right here, little icon. If you click on it, it's wrap text. Now you can move it around. If you want to make, let's uh, say you want to make it a little bit bigger, grab it from the corners. Don't ever move it from here because moving it from the middle distorts your picture. Always drag it from the corner and that way it'll, it'll be balanced out. So this is what you do to your picture. You import it. And let's say you don't like it or you say, you don't want to let me try another one that I took. You can just click on the picture and hit backspace and it goes away. Let's say, okay, I'm going to insert another image and I'm going to do the, I want to do this one instead. So this is another example of a color wheel you can um, do. Somebody drew this and they did a um, skyline from a different, with a really cool, unique perspective. So in photography, we study perspectives. And this is from um, you looking up um, at the sky and all you see is the, from the ground up and all these are um, buildings. So that's another example you could do. And the other example yesterday that I showed you guys, remember, was the image of the flowers. If you wanted to just draw something like that, same thing. So whatever you decide to upload, that's the exact same way that you upload. If you want to, uh, you on your drive right here, and this is your project folder. If you minimize your screen right here and you open up your other folder and you want to just drag them from your downloads, you want to save a copy of them, you just literally drag it and it'll have it in your drive right here. You just get it, you drag it and it'll tell you. So if you want to have them in your drive, it's the same thing. You are going to be here. Backspace to delete it. You're going to insert image. You can you have the option of doing it from your computer if you have them on your downloads or if you want to put them all on your drive. Let's say you emailed them to yourself and you downloaded them. You get it. You're going to go to your drive. These are all your recent pictures. So there they are. And it's the same concept. So whatever you decide to do, it's there for you to do. It's very simple. The first thing you have to do, remember, unlock your phone, plug it in, copy them to a folder, save them to a folder. Then you're just going to go to insert, image, depending on where you have them, and there they are. The last thing you do is you're going to go back to your classroom and you remember you're going to go, you're going to hit turn in. That way I can have it right here. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped you. I'm going to upload this. You can have it for whenever you need it. We will be uploading a bunch of different things throughout uh, this couple um, weeks that we're doing our work. And you'll always have this uh, video to go by, um, to go back to, to have a refresher. And hopefully this helps you. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks. Bye.